there's a major attack going into the front here as even SCVs were pulled. Charge Lots trying to get in, but bottlenecked here behind all the Zealots, or, or the SCVs behind the buildings as well. The Marines, the Marauders, I'm just tripping over myself. I can't keep up with everything that's going on. Supply count here leading for Exo. However, more infantry are being produced by Terran. Finishing off these last few zealots will be the mainstay of this force. And a couple more force goes trying to hold off here, but Vikings are also out just in case that supply. Uh, yes, the council going down, supply bay not. So we're likely to see some blink action going down, or we're going to see a move up into. The, no, the Templar archives are still perfectly fine. That may have been the bigger one for Binsky to snipe, but he didn't. But all those bunkers were salvaged. Mules, of course, dropping are going to be completely overpowered for the Terran. Even though he's down to 34 under 72 harvesters. My goodness, Exo has got to be feeling great about his economy right now. And he really needs to just spam a warp in of zealots. Like, there are some. He's not even bothered to make Psystorm. He's just going straight into Archon. There's the robotics bay going down again. I think I called it a supply bay earlier. I'm not sure why. A few more zealots going to go in here, and they could at least do damage to these mules. Wreck some major havoc. Not sure if he's expanding. He's got the four gateways there and the two more there, so he's running off of his sixth gate right now. And a second robotics facility going down. He really wants to push up into Colossus play, I think. Now, Protoss armor level three is on the way. Good pickup, at least to save those two zealots. And the Colossus are en route. Thermal Lance, not anywhere near completion yet, as it hasn't even started. We didn't see uh, the Warp Prism Speed get finished, as I thought it may have been. There's always a possibility when you see players going into that Warp Prism play. Minsky knows he needs to get onto the offensive. He needs to put pressure onto his opponent while his economy gets back in for the running. He's back up to 44 Harvesters. They're really underneath 84. You're just feeling detrimental. Feeling weak and helpless. Scan going down is going to be revealing when the army is attacking here and the charge shots rushing forward. The infantry, no doubt, will get picked up by the medevacs. There they go. The cannon not actually going to kill this one. And Binsky actually is rallying. Nope. I thought he might try to swing down and come back in from behind. He did manage to take out... Wait. He took out. He must have killed the Nexus. He sniped the Nexus. He did snipe the Nexus, right? I'm sure he sniped the Nexus. Another drop moving in around to the back here. Coming right in, and there are no forces to deal with this. There is a cannon. Oh, unfortunately, the Marine taken out there. We do have in the uh, killed tab, or the killed screen, you could say. Workers killed so much higher for Exo. Units killed so much higher for Exo. He is really just feeling the power in this game. As he gets ready, he takes a fourth as he retakes his third. And Binsky, he's got the Vikings out to help deal with the Colossus, which is fantastic. But Zealot with 2-1, Archon, and Colossus. Really just... That's a scary force against a bio Zerg, which is entirely what Binsky is right now. Well, he's got the Vikings, as I said, and he doesn't even have Ghosts out. 2-2 two, two upgrades for him, but even with the third weapon on the way, and there's the armor, those are going to take forever to finish. You probably beat the campaign before those upgrades finish in a regular ladder game. And he's even getting the ship levels, weapons level 1, so he really wants to make sure that he's doing as much damage as he can to these Colossus. Both players just catching their breath at this moment, as I was too, I'm sure you heard me drinking. It's wonderful tea to be had. Another drop trying to happen here, unfortunately the only anti-air is the Archons. That's interesting. I actually wonder if it could be beneficial for Binsky to look into some sort of a uh, Banshee play. It, it, it'd be... I don't want to say it'd be like the thing to do, but I think it could be effective. 
I think it could, it would certainly be great for Thrass. You know, you find a spot where this cannon doesn't reach, go over here and you just start sniping the probes away left, right, and center. Oh, a warp in is going to stop that right there, and in fact, Stalker's finally being warped in to say, you know, just just stop. Just stop with the medevacs. Shoo, go away. Now a huge, massive force moving out for Bensky as his supply has managed to catch up to his opponent, Exos. 94 to 56 harvesters, though, so you have to realize that of this supply, there's about 40 more for Exo. That's just three works. Now, here's the big engagement. Great angle for Exo as these Colossus are just going to go to town. EMP is landing, trying to take out as much as they can from these Archons. In fact, the Colossus do get sniped down pretty quickly. The uh, Vikings, fair number of them coming in and doing a ton of damage, and Binsky manages to just mop it up. Now as Exo is trying to take the high yield here, Colossus gets caught out on a bad rally point. Nexus is not going to get cancelled. Exo has got to be feeling just terrible right now. I think he's getting ready to GG. He's remassing his forces, few as they are. Some more warpins coming. But I think this is just going to be it for Exo. Some scoot shoot micro should be all that Binsky needs, especially after this 3-3 upgrades for his infantry finish. And in fact, this ghost even just saying, yeah, I'm going to snipe you out of no, yeah, maybe not. Nexus falling for a second time. This one is in full swing, but again, even ship weapons level 2 is coming on the way, which means these Colossus are going to be especially vulnerable to all the Vikings. Doing 15 a shot, but with two shots, so they're doing 30 damage at each volley to the only 350 Colossus. Vikings could just kind of move in and, and start picking at these Colossus as much as possible. There you go, and you can see one volley just brings down the entirety of the Colossus shields. Now the Marines are going to scoot and shoot back a little. The Archon's doing some great damage to this bio force and actually going to force it to move back and away. Vinsky now back in the retreat. He has some reinforcements, but Exo just saying, all right, I'll take my fourth up here. Big push coming in here by Binsky as Warpin is trying to hold it off, but he's surely lost a fair number of probes. Going back to that Eunice lost tab. Now we're back. Binsky actually holding the advantage on work kills with a higher count. And he even has an SCV in here trying to do what he can to assist with the damage. I'm not sure why. A second engagement down here, still at the main front. Exo is able to hold this, especially with these, uh, these plus two, 43 damage per shot on the biological, plus splash is a very, very big deal. But the Nexus here going down as well, and the probes might be giving away their fifth base here. If, oh, Bensi's going to discover this. And that's just going to be it. Exo probably getting a little too greedy with his economy. And he had a good engagement, at least initially, when it, it came to the, the battle right here. But I'm not sure if it's going to be enough to continue the pressure here. Now these SCVs do count as biological. So many just squished up right there. Oh, good set of kills by the Archons. But Exo is going to go ahead and GG out of the game. That is going to be it for him. In fact, there's even another drop coming in here, destroying pylons, probably getting ready to destroy the Templar archives. Vinsky just all over the place. And even when I said there was a great engagement here because the Colossus were able to shoot from afar on the entirety of the infantry, yet still, they, they just got sniped so quickly by the Vikings. The power of the infantry was so very powerful. EMPs landing to wipe out shields. Vinsky showing some fantastic control. Some multiple drop points, just making me as a caster be all over the place. This is another well-played game by him. I'm going to be moving into the third, possibly fourth game that I have, and I hope to see you.